I was given this drill uh, because I was told it does not work anymore. And uh, it obviously doesn't work. And my first indication of it not working is this lovely corrosion. But let's not think that's the only thing, because maybe it just corroded from being stored because it didn't work. And well, let's assume this is an unrelated problem with it. Uh, so our first order of business would be to clean the corrosion, but I don't know how you would... I don't know how you'd easily get to the inside one without taking it apart anyway. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll tackle this corrosion as a step in a different process, so. Well, I don't say this comes apart yet, but there's this U-shaped clip. So let's start by taking that out and see if that does something. All right, well, that does exactly as you'd expect. And I'm thinking this just falls open, or not. It was a good idea. We get our gearing out. If you're bored, you can figure out the reduction, but we'll not really worry about that. What does manual do? Oh, manual locks it, and then you turn it manually. That makes sense. Well, that explains the goo everywhere earlier, it's the grease. Ech. About as easy as it seems, just pry it open. Eventually you can get something shoved in there and comes right open. Well, this looks pretty basic. All right, so it is simply a DC motor, a Johnson DC motor, and uh, these buttons are just going to make contacts in the different directions to allow it to go forwards and backwards. All right, here's six volts over here, so we'll just plug it any which way. Turn on our supply. It is simply the corrosion that prevented it from working because uh, sounds great once you get it going. So I'm going to clean it off and we'll go from there. Always dispose of batteries properly. baking soda water worked but I want to say that it's probably almost better just to have scraped it off manually with the blade because that seemed to work just as well so your mileage may vary if something like this one thing that's fun to note is that all of the cells themselves aren't corroded so I think there's just if you see any blue on here it's probably just you know powdered on there um, but they didn't look like they leaked or anything so more than likely I guess some water uh, got on one of the contacts or something and corroded it out really don't know let's give it a try here we'll throw some brand new alkaline cells because use alkaline Oh, interesting fact. I need to put this back together to try it. Good. The gear is keyed, though that's annoying. Yeah, finally. Now, do we care about putting this back or not? No. All right. Oh, yeah, look at that. Get stuff off contacts. Let's pinch the contacts inside the drill together a bit more. I would say the motor works. And the switch mechanism works. Battery works. So, problem is between. Yeah. 
And it's just not happy. Just not having it. There we go. Really bad contacts. Torquey. Really terrible contacts in there. Wait a second. Oh, they're wet now. All right, they're wet. Bet you anything that it's grease. Well, now that's interesting. So the grease is going down the useless seal onto the contact and that is what caused it to corrode. So that's lovely. Let's trace it out and see if I'm right. By the way, this case is lovely. It's so soft I can just peel it apart. I mean, I can check the footage, but what do you know? I'd say that's some grease there. It's the bottom contact we're complaining about, which has grease on it. So yeah, that's what's actually happening, is the grease is traveling down the motor onto the contact and causing all kinds of problems. Give that a good cleaning and we can try this all again. I'll also, while I have this out, pinch these contacts together a bit better. Well, it's too hard to show, but basically somehow I'm still having troubles where grease from in here is just, just the, the wettest parts, not, not, nothing chunky, is coming down and getting on the battery contact. So even if, you know, you keep cleaning it out, it'll eventually through its own devices, kill itself. Maybe engineered to fail, maybe just a fact, of, maybe just a property of whatever grease they're using, but uh, anyway, we can get a look at, it's pretty obvious how this works, but we can get a look at how it does. So if you kind of bend up these tabs here, you can lift off this housing. And so here you've got just your standard little DC toy motor, your usual fare here. And we can see how this works after I line it back up. So, when you push this direction, you are making this outer one go this way into the contact here. And that is also pushing the inner one this way, hitting the contact over here. If you push the button this way, you will make this outer contact touch the motors contact on this side and this inner contact will touch the motors contact on this side and so that's how you change it you can't do any type of commons because you need to actually reverse the polarity to reverse the direction so the only way to accomplish that besides technically having a negative rail or anything is just completely move the contacts with it so we got a fun little motor but uh, oh, good old brrr, motor face Okay, so I don't think it's a bad motor at all. Um, here's where you can see the brush positions are. The windings are thick enough, I would say, for what type of motor this is. Um, seem to have some windings actually glued down nicely. I don't know, overall this is just a nice little part that they used. Uh, it's all covered in grease, which feels lovely. And so, based on, I would say this is... I'm a little perplexed because uh, this plastic here feels identical to the motor thing and obviously they're not making their own motor so I wonder if you get part of this assembly already done from the manufacturer and then you just make the uh, red outer piece or if you need to yeah, I don't know make some other parts to it or uh, so on 
don't think we have any information. We're fancy talking. This tool actually claims to be UL certified. Um, made in China. Six volts. Doesn't have a current rating. Looks like it claims uh, 130 revolutions per minute. And do we have any idea what this plastic is? Nope. Look how soft this is. Streak. Super cheap plastic. Manufactured 2009 18 BM. I can try looking that up. It's the only uh, marks you get with that. So, I don't know if it's worth pursuing this anymore because it seems like it's just going to keep having the grease run down and you'd basically have to you'd basically have to completely clean out all the grease and put uh, your own in there or run it dry which uh, friction would be a fun little friend of it but I don't know if it's worth pursuing so yeah that's interesting little failure as if I could resist so our setup is pretty much uh, like it always is. We've got the motor in its housing, so it has the gearbox in order to prevent us from having to spin it incredibly fast. And the motor is hooked directly into a bridge rectifier package instead of discrete diodes. And it goes over to a cap. And then also parallel to that is the multimeter, so we can read the voltage. And when we get to about uh, six or so, we'll say that uh, we're good. And then we'll plug it into an incandescent bulb to draw a much larger amount of current than any resistor down LED. Charging is pretty simple. I'll consider that good enough. Well, I gotta say, that's absolutely worth it. Uh, I lied before when I said I'd try to have a soldered up system. We'll have that eventually. For now, I was just using some lazy cap. Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to like it. Leave a comment down below if you have any comments or questions. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos such as teardowns, weird random short films, and all kinds of other insanity.